guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 81 to the power of x equals 27 to the power of, sorry, we have 81 to the power of x minus 27 to the power of x equals 0. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to change 81 to 3 to the power of 4. So I'm going to replace 81 with 3 to the power of 4. So now we have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x minus, now I'm going to change 27 to 3 to the power of 3. So now we have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. And this is equal to 0. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is actually equal to a to the power of m times n. Meaning 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x, well this would equal 3 to the power of 4 times x, or we could also write that as 4x minus now we're going to do the same thing over here, 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3 times x, which is simply just 3x. Now this is equal to 0. Now I'm actually going to add 3 to the power of 3x on both sides. So now we get 3 to the power of 4x. These two cancel out. Equals 3 to the power of 3x. Now, because these two bases are the same, this also means that the exponents here are the same as well. Because if we have a to the power of b, equals a to the power of c. This means that b is equal to c, meaning 4x is equal to 3x. So now if I divide by 3 on both sides, I get 4 over 3x is equal to x, meaning the only value that would fit this would be 0. So x is equal to 0. And as you can see, if we plug 0 in for this equation, we get 81 to the power of 0 minus 27 to the power of 0 equals 0, and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we get 1 minus 1, which does equal 0. 